Hi guys, Sandra here of the blog SensibleMom.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have three hauls to share with you. The first one is from the Fresh Time Farmers Market, and then I've also got a Sam's Club haul as well as a Costco haul to share. But I'm going to start off with what we picked up at Fresh Time. We spent right around $13, and I picked up four cucumbers. These were 99 cents each, and I like to slice these up and sprinkle some lemon or some lime juice over them with some Himalayan pink salt and they are just delicious as either a snack or as a side with lunch or dinner. And then I also picked up a three pack of the Romaine Hearts for only $1.99. I will use this in tacos and things like that. And then I also picked up four cucumbers. These are not cucumbers. I picked up four avocados. They were two for a dollar so I grabbed four of those to use with tacos or as um, to make guacamole. And then I picked up four lemons. These, a four pack of lemons was $1.99 today. And they looked really good. They were right there when we walked into the store. And these are nice big lemons. And um, I decided to grab those today. Those were not on my list, but I picked them up anyway. And then I picked up two bunches of cilantro because I'm gonna be making some albondigas soup. That's me Mexican meatball soup and it is delicious. I'll have the recipe linked down below if you're interested. I've got it on my blog as well as a video here on YouTube and you can check that out if you'd like to. And then today was the last day to get ears of non-GMO corn for only 25 cents each. So you guys saw these in my last haul. I had picked up six and we made them. My kids really enjoyed them. So I went ahead and grabbed eight today, which was the limit. So I grabbed the corn for only 25 cents each. And you know, we'll just cook these on the stove with, and then just um, uh, spread some butter over the top with some salt and pepper. And they're just delicious that way. And then last of all, I picked up two packs of this Life Light Original Tempeh. These are a little bit scary because I've never had tempeh before and I've never used it in any recipes or anything like that. But I'm working with a company called Mom's Meat. They sent me a few coupons for some of this tempeh and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it now and I need to find a recipe to use with it. So if you have any ideas, if you enjoy tempeh regularly, or if you've got a recipe to share, please leave it down below. I would love to check it out, but I'm sure that I will find a recipe that sounds good for my family and I'll use this tempeh and I will, I don't know, I have to let you guys know what I think of it. I am gonna be sharing about it on Instagram. So if you guys want to head on over to Instagram, you'll be seeing a post or two about tempeh coming up in the near future. But anyway, this is what I picked up today at Fresh Time Farmer's Market. And now I will show you what we brought home from Costco. Okay, so from Costco, I've got a few things to show you here. And then I've also got a few things to show you that are in the garage. So I'm gonna start off right here. We picked up a big container of Kikoman soy sauce because it was only $5.49. And I feel like that's a really good deal. I love having soy sauce in the fridge all the time because I love using it to season pork. And I feel like it just goes so well with that meat. And then I like using it also, obviously, for when I pick up mini wontons and things like that and dumplings from the store. So I, I've never bought this much soy sauce at one time. I've never bought a big container like this before, but I, like I said, I felt like it was a good deal, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And then I also picked up a two, a two pack of this mozzarella cheese, and we get this all the time from Costco. You get a lot of cheese in here. I do think the price has gone up in this on this cheese over the years. This was twelve seventy nine for the two pack, and I feel like we used to be able to get this for like ten something, but. That's okay, this is good quality cheese and it's already shredded and I just like having it on hand. And then my husband grabbed this DeWalt 50 piece tool set because it's on sale right now or it was when he picked it up. It's originally $29.99 and it was $10 off. So he wanted this 
because while he has a good amount of tools in the garage, he wanted something that he could just keep here inside the house and um, he wanted to get this. So he went ahead and grabbed it. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show you here inside the house that we picked up from Costco are these paper towels. These are the select -a size Bounty paper towels. I always like to get select -a size whenever I possibly can, which is almost always. And I like, um, I like that you can, you know, choose a smaller size and there's less waste that way because I love to stretch my paper towels as far as I possibly can. But anyway, that's what we picked up from Costco and that is here inside the house. Now I'm gonna head out to the garage and show you what we grabbed from Costco that is out there. So out here in the garage, we picked up two of these raised bed kits, basically, where you get two raised beds in each of the kits that you buy. So like I said, we got two of these and so that's gonna give us a total of four raised beds. And these were $66.99 each, but we figured that it would be better and cheaper to just go ahead and buy the kits versus buying the wood and everything and making our own. So we're new to this, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and try these out and I think that these will work out and they will last for years but um, this is kind of my husband's department he is the gardener in the family and i just help where i can but yeah we went ahead and grabbed those and he has got our he's got our garden going now so um we're starting to grow things right now and i'm very excited let me know if you've started your garden down in the comments below and then we also picked up some more of this rubber mulch. You guys saw this in my last haul. We ended up using the bag that we bought and it's on sale for $7.89 right now. So we went ahead and picked up some more. And we will um, probably actually buy even more because we do really like it. And we're still kind of figuring out our landscaping in the front of our house. We changed some things up last year and we're going to go ahead and keep changing some things up. So um, we'll probably go ahead and get some more before this is not on sale anymore. But this is what we picked up from Costco. And now I'll show you what we brought home from Sam's Club. Okay, so from Sam's Club, we picked up this big pack of napkins for $10.28. It says there's a total of 1,200 napkins in here. There's four packs with 300 in each pack. And I bought these as an alternative for paper towels at the kitchen table. So right now we have a couple of rolls of paper towels at our kitchen table because uh, we're a big family. For reference, just in case I have uh, new subscribers, which I know that I do, or people that just haven't been following me very long, we are a family of seven and um, my kids are a little bit older. They range in age from eight years old all the way up to 19 years old. So I've got three teenagers and then uh, two that are not teenagers just yet. So we um, we go through paper towels uh, pretty, regular, pretty regularly, but like I said, I like to stretch those as far as I possibly can. And I'm hoping to stretch the ones I have even further by, t by supplying napkins at the table um, instead. So I'm gonna go on Amazon and look for a nice hopefully cute cheap napkin holder and um, order that and then i'm going to start putting napkins out of the table and uh, hopefully that works out we'll see how that works just because i don't like when my kids grab a paper towel and then they only use it uh, use part of it or um, I just feel like it's not being used you know um, get we're not getting as much of use out of it as we could and so I think that uh, napkins might be a good alternative we'll see anyway moving along we also picked up five packs of tortillas and I was happy to see that these are back down to 38 cents a pack which is about the right price for this brand and these types of tortillas 
You guys may remember from my one Sam's Club haul during all the panic buying and everything that they had raised the price on these tortillas to a dollar and eight cents a pack and that's crazy so they were back down to their regular price and I went ahead and picked up five because that's about how many packs we go through in a week and then I also picked up some toilet paper and I'm very disappointed because they haven't had our favorite brand of toilet paper which is Scott's in stock for uh, for weeks so as soon as that comes in stock i'm going to pick some up because they obviously don't stock it very often so we went ahead and grabbed this as an alternative and hopefully we like it it was twenty dollars and 98 cents for this pack here and it's got 45 rolls and then last of all i picked up some gloves because they're on sale right now they're three dollars off i think this pack was $13.96, somewhere around there. And I grabbed these because I like using gloves when I'm handling meat. Um, so like if I'm making, when I make the meatball soup later, I am going to use gloves to make the meatballs. And then I also like using them when I'm making hamburger patties. And then I also love using them to clean. So I feel like I can clean more if I'm wearing a glove and I try to stretch stretch out the glove that I'm wearing as much as I can so I'll start cleaning the kitchen table and then load the dishwasher and maybe clean the sink and then last of all clean the bathroom and then obviously throw the glove away after that but there's 200 in each of these packs and so, so they came out to about seven dollars each which I, which I think is a pretty decent price for gloves so these are the things that we picked up from Sam's Club and that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave me a comment down below. Let me know how our grocery stores in your area are. Have things calmed down? Are they still crazy? Let me know. I hope that you guys are staying well and staying encouraged during this crazy weird time that we are living in but like i said that's all i've got for you and i will see you in the next video bye bye